The pandemic has left the performance industry reeling, but music publishing is soaring thanks to a frenzy of high-profile music catalog sales. Now, in many cases, the transactions have come at staggering prices. Bob Dylan sold his full publishing catalog for around $300 million, while Stevie Nicks sold a majority of hers for about $100 million. Joining us on the Kogan News Live line, attorney Karen B. Kepler. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, absolutely. So what's driving this this trend in musicians selling their catalogs? A few things. Um, and almost everybody is talking about the income tax issues involved. But um, it's also this incredible estate planning move because these artists have basically liquidated their catalogs for a stream of income that is not going to be subject to crazy valuation issues on an estate tax audit. Um, as we know, you know, Michael Jackson's estate has been fighting a $700 million tax deficiency over the valuation of his catalog and his image. And now Prince's estate is facing the same thing. So what they have done is they've converted a stream of cash that is difficult to value um, for, for estate tax purposes, and they've converted it into basically cash and securities that will continue to provide a stream of income and probably have their heirs avoid an estate tax audit when they die. Is this some kind of loophole, or, or is it something that anybody can really do? Anybody can really do this. I mean, what they're basically doing is converting intellectual property into a into easily valuable valued assets. Um, cash and securities are very easy to value because we know what they are worth on the date of death because we can look at the stock market records. Um, but royalties, on the other hand, are very very different. And um, part of the problem is that once an artist dies, although the service is not supposed to be looking at the after death stream of income. They inevitably do, which is what the problem has been in the Michael Jackson estate. Very interesting. Attorney Karen Kepler, we're out of time, but thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.